Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome back to another English class. I know it's kind of difficult because you are, some of you are moving and, well, the rain is kind of heavy. So let's see who do we have here. Vamos a ver quién tenemos por acá. Adi, good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Everything okay? Fine, thanks. Okay, that's nice. I'd like to hear that later. Okay. Let's listen to Guillermo. Good evening. Hello, Guillermo. Well, I guess maybe it's not available. Maybe later. Let's listen to um, Noé. Hello. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? I'm great. Okay, that's perfect. I'd like to hear that. And also here we have Gustavo. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Everything in order? Everything okay? Excellent. Perfect. Jose, good evening. Hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. Perfect. Awesome. Great, great, chilling. Okay, nice, nice. So welcome to uh, to all of you. Here we have um, class number five. So we are finishing in unit number one tonight. So that's really, really, really good because it means that we have just three more weeks, solo tres semanas, and then we're going to finish this, okay? So, um, eh, we are going to wait a little bit, but I'm going to show you some vocabulary that maybe is going to be really, but very useful. Here we have uh, class number five, uh, vocabulary practice. And we're going to have like a brief review. I guess uh, you have like a short vacation. Un pequeño descanso el viernes. Ya que no tuvimos clase, I'm so sorry because we have, well, I had some difficulties with the traffic jam. Tuve dificultades, no pude conectarme, but well, let's do it. And to start, here we have this. Uh, the question is, how many jobs have you had? I know that some of you are working for the first time. It means that you have just one job in your life. And, but there are some others who maybe have more jobs in the past. Uh, just in my case, I have had six jobs, I guess. Yes, six jobs. So you can say, I have had, yo he tenido, I have had three jobs, one job, two jobs, and so on. Okay, you can say I have had or you can say I've had. Cualquiera de las dos maneras, ¿verdad? Es presente, es simple, well, present perfect, que es el presente perfecto. I have had. Okay, so let's see some of you. Uh, I need you to write on the chat, right? I have. Just in my case, that that, that, that is my, my, well, my information. I've had six jobs. What about you? Text it. And let's see how many jobs you have had in your entire life. Or maybe you have worked for a lot of years in the same job. Let's wait for the answers. ¿Cuántos trabajos has tenido? Okay, let's wait a little bit. Okay, 
And let's see. And the answers. Okay, Guillermo, just one job, Guillermo. This is your first job. Is that right? Yes, teacher. Okay, very nice. And uh, how many years, how much time working in this first job? I have five years. This oh, is nice. my six. Okay, your sixth year. Okay, that's nice. You are working in a lot of years in there. Thank you. And we have also Noe. Uh, three jobs, Noe. Could you mention some of them? One or two jobs that you remember you have done? Yeah, could be the first one as a car wash. In a okay. car wash. Yeah. Yeah, then. Um, since that time that the today I I work in like a mechanic. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, it is like different the service you provide, right? Always a yeah. customer service and yeah. you have had good clients and really bad clients, right? Yeah, it helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Noah. Thank you. Uh, Adi, Thank you. Uh, two jobs, right? Uh, as, as a teacher, always, right? As a teacher, um, two jobs. Yeah, okay, in different places, always as a teacher, right? Okay. Yes, is that right? Okay. And how much time working in this second job? How many years or how many months? Quantum message about? Okay. Um in the trabajo anterior, como digo. In the previous, in the previous job. In the previous, mm -hmm. in the previous job, two years. Okay. And actuality job and one year. Oh, one year. That's nice. You can say currently, actualmente. Yeah, the current yeah. or currently. Okay, one year. Very nice, Adi. I hope you can continue there. Thank you. And here we have also Teresa. Teresa, I guess I don't know you very well yet. Creo que no te conozco muy bien hasta ahora. Are you there? Sí, yeah. Oh. I'm here. Okay. Everything okay, Teresa? Yep. Yeah. So, okay. He estado trabajando estos días anteriores. Perdón. Me imagino, me imagino. ¿Y cómo vas a estar ahora? Más relax, más tranquila. Sí, sí, sí. Es que todo el contexto de los juegos también ha influido un poquito, pero voy a estar conectándome a las clases. Y gracias. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. So you, this job is as a teacher, right? No, my job is as a journalist. Ah, oh, journalist. Wow, really mm -hmm. interesting. Okay, thank you. How much mm -hmm. time? ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas? How much time working Two as years. a journalist? Two years. Sorry? Oh, perfect. Two years. Thank you. Well, now you have more experience. Thank you, Teresa. Thank and you. Here we have... Okay, Jose, what about you? Just one job, right? The current job. Um, yes, man, the current job is as a seller, man. The... Uh, how much time working as a seller man? Almost, almost the year, almost around oh. maybe eight or nine, month seven maybe. Oh. Above Perfect. Or seven. Okay, that's nice. Well, you're about to to complete the one year. Thank you, Jose. Uh, what about Oscar? Yes. Okay, Oscar. Six jobs. Can you man? Can you mention two? Two of the six jobs you have done. Menciona dos trabajos. Right now, I'm in a chemical uh, sales. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And the previous and job? After and before. Uh -huh. Antes. And before? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes, in a, in a clothes factory. Oh, interesting. Yeah, different environments, different ambientes, yes. right? Well, Good. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, Rivas, four jobs. Can you mention two of the jobs you have done? Analyst processes and purchase. Oh, purchase. Very nice. Yeah, kind of different functions. But, well, good. Thank you, Rivas. And Maritza.
Are you there, Maritza? Well, she uh, yes, has a... Thank you, Maritza. Can you mention two jobs? Maybe the the, act, uh, the current, the previous? Uh, as, as accountant assistant. Good. As a, accountant assistant. And some other, y el otro? Maybe the other? Otro trabajo uh, que has hecho? The two. Ah, okay. The uh, same, no. okay, the same, yeah, occupation, the same job in different enterprises, different yeah. companies. Yeah. Thank you. Similar to Adi, same, yes, occupation in different uh, companies or working hours. Uh, thank you, Maritza. Very nice. It is good to know that some of you are working like for the first time or you have two, three jobs and there are some other who have had like more than four or five six, six jobs. That's kind of interesting. You always learn from every job. Siempre se aprende. But a lot. Okay. Current significa actual name. Okay. I'm going to show you this. Hay palabras que pueden confundirnos. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so there is lexico actually. Okay. Um actually it means realmente. And currently means actualmente. I know that actually sounds like actualmente, like by logic, eh, por lógica, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, perfect, es perfecto, perfectly, perfectamente. Basándose en esa lógica, maybe we may think that actually means actualmente, but no. Nosotros creemos que según esa lógica, ¿verdad? Pero actually significa realmente. Y cuando queramos decir actualmente, tenemos que decir currently. ¿Ok? Así que cuando alguien dice, ok, actually, les está dando su punto de vista o cualquier cuestión sobre la, lo que sucede. Pero currently es actualmente. Current es actual. Por ejemplo, my current job is as a teacher at English Corporativo. Mi trabajo actual es, ¿verdad? Como teacher o como sea. Ahora, otras palabras, um, after significa después, after es después, y before significa antes. Yo sé que también tiene una lógica que after es como antes, but no, ¿ok? Por eso es el after office. El after office es cuando se van a tomar un café o algo que no sea café después del trabajo, ¿ok? You go and hang out with friends. And when you are on at the party, cuando estén en una fiesta y termine, and the party finishes, and you want to continue having fun, quieren continuar divirtiéndose, there is an after party, ¿verdad? Hay un after party que significa el después de la fiesta, okay? So maybe we can have an idea about using that kind of cavalry, ¿verdad? After es después, before es antes. Yo sé que after se parece como after, antes, but no, okay? So parts of, well, types of words that maybe can confuse us. No pueden confundir, okay? And I'm going to check the attendance list by um, taking, a, taking a look to a... Uh, I'm going to show you this. Here we have some vocabulary that I consider the useful phrases que son frases que son bastante útiles we have 10 phrases some of them are questions for example what do you mean very important question i suggest you to write down quiero que la escriban o tomen captura y me cortan mi rostro please please okay uh, what do you mean when you are explaining something and the other person doesn't understand or that person say say what ¿Cómo qué dijiste? ¿Qué te refieres? Number two, what are you talking about? 
Um, if you're talking about a topic and the other person doesn't know, cuando no sabe de qué estás hablando, what are you talking about? ¿Qué estás hablando? Okay. Uh, three, just take a breath. Just take a breath. Solo toma un respiro. La palabra breath es respiro. Se escribe igual para el verbo, solo que se pronuncia diferente. Se pronuncia breathe. Breathe es respirar. Y breath es el sustantivo. Respiro. Okay. So, let's take a breath. Um, I'm not sure yet. No sé, sobre todo. Are you, are you planning to go to the party? I'm not sure yet. Okay. Uh, pretty good. Eh, pretty significa bonita como un adjetivo. Por ejemplo, well, my sister is so pretty, bla, bla, bla. But pretty es un quantifier. Quiere decir que, quiere decir que algo está muy mal. You can say, that's pretty bad. That's pretty dangerous. Es, muy, es bastante peligroso, muy peligroso. So pretty is like a quantifier. Es como decir very. Okay. Um, long time no see. When you find a friend. A lot of years uh, with no contact. Uh, seven. I'm not in the mood. A person is trying to, to have some fun with you. Se quiere divertir, hacer burla. Mm, I'm not in the mood. Okay. Uh, eight. I have a company tonight. Tengo compañía esta noche. Maybe if you want to. Can I visit you? Puedo visitarte? Mm, sorry, I have company tonight. Uh, nine. Fancy meeting you here. Qué casualidad encontrarte acá. Fancy significa elegante, but it's a way to say it. Fancy meeting you here. Se encuentran a alguien en un lugar un poco convencional, ¿ok? And number 10, you already know it. Ya la conocen. Take care. Ten cuidado, ¿ok? Um, I'm going to check the attendance list, please. I need you to say hi, hello, good evening, present. I am here. Eh, una consulta. Vamos a ver. Voy a preguntar. David. Hola, David. ¿Estás por acá? Yes, teacher. Eh, pregunta, eh, ¿se escucha la lluvia en mi micrófono? ¿Se escucha eh, No, teacher. aquí sí está okay. lloviendo, quizás quizás oigo la lluvia, soy la mía y no distingo cuál es cuál. <risa> ok, sí, bueno, uh, aquí está lloviendo un poco fuerte, pero bueno, vamos a ver si continuamos. Thank you, David. Ok, comenzamos con uh, Adi. Go there. Ok, what do you mean? Thank you. Eh, Ana Cristina. All right. Eh, Elías. Do we have Elías? Okay. Like listener, I guess. Rivas. Hello there. Present teacher. What are you talking about? Perfect. Eh, Claudia Marcela. Okay, no, Claudia. Daniel. Okay, Daniel, hi. Hi, teacher. Okay, your uh, Take care. Good, thank you. Uh, David, hello again. Present teacher, uh, just take a break. Good. Uh, Doris, what about Doris? Good evening. Hi, Pretty. Doris. Okay, yeah, pretty good. Thank you. And um, Evelyn, I guess Evelyn is not here. Okay. Graciela. Okay, Guillermo, hi. Hi, teacher. Um, thank you. Your phrase? My phrase is pretty good. Jose, hi. Hello, um, fancy meeting you here. Good one. John, what about you? Here, teacher, good evening, everybody. Um, oh. I choose um, pretty good. Thank you. Uh, Katia, no, Katia, Maritza. I'm not sure yet. Very nice. No está segura. Sí, está aquí. Thank you, Maritza. Uh, Marvin. No sé, Marvin solo una vez apareció. Ok. Noé, hello. 
low present. Okay. I have company tonight. Good. And Gustavo? Hi, teacher. Hello. I have a company tonight. Good. Oscar, your turn. Hi, uh, what are you talking about? Okay, good. Uh, I guess Rosalie is a listener. Susie, I don't know if Susie is here. Teacher, uh, you can hear me? Yes, Guillermo. Yep. Okay, Everything okay. okay? Yeah, no problem. With your audio is okay. Rosalie, no, uh, oyente, Susie. Teresa, hi. Phrase, thank you. Thank you. And your phrase. Normalmente cuando paso lista, alguien me dice presente, present, hi, y me lee una de estas frases. ¿Podrías leer una? Ok. Creo que no. Well, let's continue with this. Creo que Teresa no está al 100 con la metodología. Ya se va a acoplar. Well, let's move with this. Uh, we were like practicing some features and products, the weight, uh, dimension, and quantity. Okay, so we have television, refrigerators, and so on. Yeah, uh, we were reading uh, this information, right? Weight uh, like 170 grams, and also the dimension, the quantity, that's very simple. Here we have this, write down three features and three products as a partner to describe them. We're going to do this. We're going to work in pairs. This is a part of the manual uh, activity. So what we can do is this same. The weight, dimension, and quantity. Okay. We're going to write here. Okay, uh, I need you to, to to complete this. What are you going to do? Uh, you can write here refrigerator or fridge, okay? You can write also laundry machine or you can write microwave. Escri escriben tres productos y les, uh, maybe if you want, you can look for Google and you can write the weight of the fridge, the dimension, and the quantity, okay? From the three products, you can select uh, with your partner and then we're going to do it uh, here. We're going to present this information. Entonces, vamos a completar este cuadro recordando siempre, ¿verdad? El peso, la dimensión y la cantidad. You can have like a screenshot Estos tres productos que yo escribí, que yo escribí puede, eso, son un ejemplo, just an example. If you want, you can select some other from, instead of these ones. En lugar de eso, puedes elegir otros, okay? Like laptop, you can look for cell phones, if you want, and so on. Even TV, yeah. Um, okay. We're going to have this. Maybe we can have like you know screenshots. Let me see. You pueden enviar esto para que estemos como un poquito más. Thank you, Adi. Very nice. As I told you before, you can have some other objects. Pueden tener otros objetos si ustedes gustan. Okay, no problem. Los voy a agrupar en este momento. And let me check. Vayan pensando ya qué tipo de, what type of product you're going to select.
just give me a second. I'm going to send you. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends. John, ¿pudiste aceptar la solicitud? Que al parecer no. Doris. Ana Cristina, eh, ¿estás activa?
Okay, welcome back, my friends. Now that we have finished uh, this activity, I would like to know some of your details, some of the products you have. So maybe we can have this. Let's listen what product you have selected. For example, you can write the name of the product. For example, uh, smart phone, then you write the weight, dimension, and well, quantity, it is not so, so important because, well, this is part of, of the activity. So uh, I need to write this information. Hello, Noe. Hi. Hello, hello. So I have some information about this. Mm -hmm. Example, uh, HP laptop, the weight is 2.92 pounds. The dimension are 254 by 30. A point zero zero by twenty four point zero zero millimeters, and the quantity fifteen. Okay, thank you. That's a laptop, right? Uh, it is yep. H HP. You mentioned HP. No, the brand. Yeah, the marker, it's, no. a H oh. it's a It's HP laptop. Okay, thank you very much. Let's listen to some of you. What about the Daniel? Or Guillermo, could you mention one product that maybe you have? Yes, it's true. Hi, good morning. Uh, electric fan. Okay, Daniel, and then Guillermo. Okay. It weighs is two kilograms, and dimension is three feet tall, and quantity two. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, Guillermo and then Oscar. Okay, my product is an oven. The weight is eight eight point five kilos, and the dimension is sixty centimeters. 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 Centimeters with uh, 60 centimeters high and 54 centimeters length. Good. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Well, let's listen to Oscar and then Jose. Daniel, yeah, good. You wrote on the chat. Thank you, Daniel. Um, what about uh, Oscar and then Jose, please? Okay. Okay, uh, the product is cell phone. Uh, the weight is 140 grams. The dimension is 6 inch by 3 inch. And the quantity is 100. Thank you. Uh, just one point inches, verdad? Las pulgadas, okay? Good, thank you. Okay. Uh, Jose and then Gustavo. Uh, in my case, teacher, I didn't know that we need to to look to search about the dimensions. I didn't hear. Okay. Uh, well, no problem. Let's listen to Gustavo and then Maricha. Okay, maybe Gustavo is not ready. Uh, Maritza and then David. Mm -hmm. TV. Yeah. Weight uh, 20 kilo. Dimension 120.18 centimeters. Por como sería. By. By. Uh, uh, 68 
point five centimeters by one hundred thirty nine thirty nine point seven centimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. What about David? Do you have yours? Okay, teacher. Uh, my product is monitor computer monitor. Okay. Uh, weight two kilograms. Dimension uh, seventeen inch screen. Okay. Uh, quantify one. Okay. Uh, inches. Ajá. Uh -huh. Que sería inches, los, uh, las pulgadas. Inch, pulgada, inches, pulgadas. Okay. okay Thank you very much. Okay. We're going to continue uh, with uh, the speaking activity. Uh, name one or two occupations that you would never do. In the, well, at the beginning of the class, I asked you about the number of jobs you have had. Some of you said I have had just one job, three jobs, or in my life, I've had six jobs and so on. So mention one or two occupations if you want just one. One occupation that you would never do, una ocupación que usted no haría, and why, okay? Let's listen to at least five people. John, you want to be the first, and then we go with Noé. Okay, John. Okay, okay, my occupation that I would never do, um, nuclear operator. Oh, uh, okay. Because it could be a way of living life to the limit. It is a lot of responsibility. Yes, it's really dangerous, not only for you, but for the others, for the entire like company. Thank you, John. Very good reason. Very good reason. I didn't think about it, but well, now that you mentioned, yes, I agree. Okay, Noe, you go. Okay, in my opinion, I think that the profession I will never do uh, would be a minor because I'm I'm a claustrophobic. Okay, yes. And they work with very reduced spaces. And yeah. <laughs> sometimes they have some difficult difficulties to breathe. And it's dark yeah. and all those. I understand you. Yeah, I will never do that. Thank you. Another good example that is kind of complicated. Thank you. Uh, what about Adi and then Rivas? Okay, teacher. Um, I will never be a mechanic because I don't know anything about cars and okay. how they work. Okay. Um, I hope never be a electrician. Uh, electrician. Electric electrician. Because I am afraid of electric electricity. Uh, Okay. Yeah, good examples. One, because you don't know anything about cars. Okay, you will <laughs> it is difficult for you to be a mechanic. Yeah, mm -hmm. because of that. And maybe you have the capacity, you you don't know, but you don't have the knowledge, the information. Okay, so that's it. And the other that you said is electrician. Yeah, it's dangerous. In when you do something and you feel they uh, like in danger. It is kind of difficult. It's really complicated. So good examples, Adi. Okay, very good. Uh, Rivas, please. Okay, hey, teacher. In my opinion, all occupations are interesting and each one one requires your effort. Oh yes. So you don't have an occupation that you would never do, right? No, teacher. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Uh, yes, Noé says, if you want to learn, uh, Adi, uh, he can help you. He's a mechanic. Maybe we can ask some things about, uh, like, how, how the car uh, works, right, Noé? You know, kind of experience about this. And I guess you are constantly updating. Tiene que estarse actualizando, right, Noé? Yes, teacher. 
I guess it happens. Yeah, by, by yes, you got to learn everything about cars. But, but I was, uh, for all, all of them. yeah, yeah. And imagine just in the case of scanners, also you you know a lot of things, but just for example, some scanners there are some new ones, and the calls and well, a lot of things. I guess uh, it is an an entire world, a mundo completo, right? But yeah. uh, yes, here we have this. Okay, if if you want to know something, at least the basic things, right? No. I, Creo que lo, todos deberíamos de saber lo, lo básico. The basic yeah, thing. don't worry. I can help you. I'm having some difficulties. I'm sorry. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, this The, the rain no. is kind of heavy. Okay. No it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Tenían hora libre ahora. Okay, let's listen to who was Rivas. No, Rivas said that uh, he doesn't have any problem with the, some occupations. Uh, what about Guillermo? Okay, Guillermo, tell us. Okay, teacher, uh, I will never be a, a doctor. I, I feel that is something really tired to do. And the kind of, of life that they have, that's not for me. Yeah. And I will never be also a teacher because I think <laughs> that I don't have enough patience with the others. Okay. Yes. It's something like it is required. You know, la pregunta Hadi. Yeah, Rosalie and some others. Yeah, it's kind of complicated, verdad? Sometimes it it's nice, but it is difficult. And related to doctors and similar to nurse, I guess I don't know. In your case, Guillermo, do you have problems watching blood? Problem al ver la sangre? You have problems or no? No problem no, with that. There is no problem for me, but I, I feel that it's so tired. Yeah, to be and, a doctor, and especially on holidays, they have to yeah. work on New Year's Eve, and like December thirty first, they have to work, and Mother's Day and some other, not all the the holidays, but yeah, they have some. They, they have uh, to work a lot, or twenty four hours, right, like this, in continuously. So what? Well, Kind of complicated. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. Guillermo no sería un doctor, un teacher. Lo que sería buen teacher. Okay, so let's move. And here we have this worksheet, and we're going to continue with the, the rest of the answers later. Look at this. I know you have, well, you have studied present continuous in some other modules, ese ya lo estudiaron, el presente continuo. What is that? It is when you want to say something that is happening in this moment. For example, I am playing, you are playing, he is playing, she's playing, and so on. Something important is that we use the verb be, am, is, are, and we use ing with the rest of the verbs. Okay, playing, working, singing, dancing, and so on, okay? Easy or negatives, we have to use not. Easy. And for the questions, it's similar to affirmative. The only point is that am um, goes at the beginning, are, the beginning is at the beginning, like this, okay? Quiero que hayan estudiado eso en otro módulo, ¿verdad? So present continuous, it is not complicated a lot. Um, it is something good because in this case, you are not looking for the third person. Aquí no anda buscando la tercera persona que le agrega gente. No, easy. Just take a look at the verb. I am playing, you're playing, he's playing, she's playing. Look at this. Okay. Now we're going to use it. We're going to use this in the past. Vamos a usarlo en el pasado. Pero, but I need you to 
write a sentence. Okay, write any sentence you want. Affirmative, negative, or interrogative, or question. Select one. And you can use different verbs. Pueden utilizar cualquier verbo. Okay? Uh, work, sing, dance, play, cook, um, what? Um, send, cultivate, there are a lot. Speak, write, read. Okay? So I'm going to write the one here in the chat. For example, she is not laughing. Ella no se está riendo. She is not laughing. That's my uh, negative sentence. You can write an affirmative if you want, or negative, or question, interrogative. Depends on you. Okay? Here we have some examples. Okay. I'm going to wait for you and then we're going to set in the past. Luego le estudiamos en el pasado. El pasado de, de, de esta estructura. Okay. But if you see, it's it's very easy. Y el pasado es más fácil todavía. It's easier. Even. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Yes, John. Um, okay. Uh, could you could you mention some rule of the present continuous? Okay, I rule. remember in this moment. No problem. Um, yes. There are two special functions, those funciones especiales, the present continuous. For example, one, uh, talk about Something happening in that moment. For example, uh, alguien que ahí, creo que tú escribiste eso. I am playing the guitar right now. I am drinking coffee right now. Algo que está sucediendo. Or talk about future and near events. O sea, se utiliza para dos cosas, okay? Talking about something that, that is happening right now or talking about future events and near events. Eventos que están super cerca. For example, tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we are having classes. Tomorrow we are practicing English. Tomorrow we are listening audios. Tomorrow we are completing. Se puede utilizar tomorrow we are going to. O con el will. Tomorrow we'll go. ¿Verdad? Vamos a hacer tal cosa. Vamos, iremos a tal lugar. Pero para hablar de cosas que están súper cerca o incluso ahora. Por ejemplo, we are sleeping early tonight. Nos vamos a dormir temprano ahora. ¿Ok? Entonces, si hablamos de cosas en este momento sería I'm drinking coffee. Estoy tomando café. Eh, you are uh, texting in the chat, ustedes están texteando, están escribiendo en el chat, cosa que está pasando en el momento, pero también para eh, eventos que están súper cerca, ¿ok? Esa es. Okay. Ahora, la, la estructura gramatical básicamente es el verbo to be, 
más cualquiera de los verbos con ing. Okay. And that's with, it. With, Easy. With verbs, with verbs sounding, I show, I show, okay. I show no. Mm. With verbs Todo, sounding, todos I los verbos no. como que se le dieran ing. For example, work, working, uh, play. Playing, but in the case of dance, we omit letter E and we are, we write ing. Um, okay. Create, creating. Mm -hmm. That's the only rule. That if you nice. have fix fixing, mm -hmm. no problem. But if you have nice. a letter E at the end, you have to change it uh, for ing. Solo le quitan la E por la ING. That's the only okay. rule. Thanks. Eh, you don't have to add more letters. No se le agregan más letras o sus letras. No, this is very simple. Very easy. Okay? Thanks. So, Thanks. okay. You're welcome. Let's read this and then we come. We go. Um, let's start with Guillermo and then John. Okay, Guillermo, please read your sentence. I am drinking. drinking a soda. Thank you, John and Oscar. Okay, John, you can say, uh -huh, I'm the contraction. Okay, I playing guitar right now. Thank you, uh, mm -hmm. Oscar and Daniel. I am eating now. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, solo si quieres en lugar de every day, escribe tomorrow. No, solo menciónalo. Y eso I'm está driving. correcto, ¿ok? I'm driving. Mm -hmm. Driving. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm driving tomorrow. Entonces, eh, John está utilizando el present continuous como presente. Daniel lo estaría usando como para futuro cercano, o sea, mañana. I'm driving tomorrow. No significa estoy manejando mañana, significa voy a manejar mañana. It's something uh, that is going to happen soon. Thank you. Uh, Adi. He is cooking now. Now, okay. Oh, he's cooking pizza, he's cooking pasta. Yeah. And now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Maritza and then Teresa. Are they coming for dinner? Are they coming for dinner? Yeah, good example. O cuando le dice, are you coming for dinner? Toda enojada, vas a venir a comer. Are you coming for dinner? Thank you. Teresa en, en Rivas. I'm reading right now. Oh, good. Thank you. Eh, Rivas and David. I am reading a book. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, David and Noé. David, select yeah. one of the this, uh sentences please okay you are cleaning the window today yeah today yeah that's good uh, noe and then gustavo he's fixing motorcycles tonight yeah that's that's okay thank you uh, gustavo and elias i i am studying mm -hmm. i am studying english mm -hmm. you can say it. thank you elias she is working a lot lady Ok, thank you. Ahora, le voy a poner un ejemplo por qué no podemos poner cosas como hábitos. Por ejemplo, I um, I cook pasta. Fíjense bien, yo, yo cocino pasta. I cook pasta every weekend. Cocino pasta todos los fines de semana. Pero es diferente decir, I'm cooking This weekend. La primera es un hábito que es todos los fines de semana. And the second is something, it's a plan. Es un plan que va para este fin de semana. So that's the difference. Okay. Well, uh, as I know, you understand things very easy. Aprenden cosas súper rápido ustedes. So, vamos a ver el pasado. Present continuous, but in the past, it could, it is 
past continuous. Y es super fácil. Look. En presente, nosotros tenemos el verbo to be. The verb be is divided in three words. Verb be se divide en am, is, are. Pero en el pasado solo vamos a utilizar, we're going to use two words, solo vamos a utilizar dos palabras. Was, were. Ok. Was va a ser para los, eh, singu los, sí, los singulares. Voy a poner un cuadrito aquí. I'm sorry. No voy a entrar. Ok. Was va a ser para los singulares. Y were va a ser para los plurales. Más fácil todavía. Because in present you use am, is. Pero en pasado solo vamos a utilizar was para am, is. Y were para el plural. Ejemplo aquí. Miren. I was playing. You were playing. He was playing. Uh, she was playing. He was playing. We were playing. You were playing. Easy. O sea que acá en lo que iba el am, ahora va was. Aquí en lo que iba el is, va el was. Ese es el pasado, literalmente. Literally, that's the past of the verb be. El pasado del verb be. El pasado de am es was. El pasado de is es was. El pasado de are es were. ¿Ok? So, easy. Yes, Daniel. Good example. I was driving yesterday. Estaba manejando ayer. Ahora, estas oraciones normalmente se utilizan cuando suceden dos cosas, I, I estaba manejando ayer, cuando cayó un rayo, cuando se me atravesó un perro, cuando pasó el accidente, ok, pero en este caso solo vamos a utilizar esta, uh -huh. ok, y sí, ahora ya que tenemos estas, vamos con las oraciones, ya les he dicho que en este caso, eh, no vamos a utilizar la palabra to porque es un infinitivo ¿qué vamos a hacer? solo le vamos a agregar la palabra was o la palabra were más el verbo en paréntesis con ing ok let's listen some of you recuerden seleccionar si es singular if it is singular was if it is plural Where? Okay, Guillermo, let's complete this easy exercise. Okay, uh, the first one is she was uh, playing hockey. Yeah, easy peasy, right? Thank you. She was playing hockey. Yeah, that's it. We go with Teresa, right, Teresa? Yeah, the second one is they were, they were swimming in the pool. Yeah. Aquí le te he fallado, Juan. Sí hay una excepción. A swimming se le agrega una M. Es el, es el único verbo. Pero sí, aquí sí hay una excepción, John. I'm sorry. Nice, nice. Te dije que no, pero te mentí. Nice. I'm sorry. Thank you. Eh, who else? Who else? Ok, eh, con el ejemplo... Eh, no es good example. Could you read it? Podrías leerlo, solo que en lugar de say sería said. Se escribe say, pero sería como said. Tengo said, pero obviamente. ¿Ok? Could you read that? No es. I was okay. drinking. I was drinking soda yesterday when my doctor said to me that it's bad to help. Yeah. Estaba tomando soda cuando el doctor me dijo el nombre es mal. Aunque los doctores no se toman bastante soda. They drink a lot of soda, but yeah. It is not good for your health. So, one action interrupted another. Una acción interrup interrumpió la otra. Tomar soda era una acción y de repente el doctor le dijo, eso es malo para la salud. Okay? So, that's something that is. Uh, yes, Adi, we were listening to music. What type of music? I don't know. Maybe romantic. Thank you. Um, 
Let's select Daniel and then Oscar. Okay, Daniel, select one of these sentences. And then Oscar. Is word raining? Uh, it, it is singular. It, it was. Yeah. It was raining yesterday. Un ejemplo. Thank you, Oscar. And then we go with Noé. Okay. The fourth is say, we were listening to music. Yes. Thank you. We were listening to music. Good. Okay, Noé, and then we go with Adi. The mobile was ringing. Yep. Was ringing. Thank you. Okay, we go with Adi and then Maritza. The students were texting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very common, right, Adi? <laughs> yeah, you know it. Maritza, and then we go with Jose. Mark was dancing with two girls. Ajá. Uh -huh. Este Max es un loquillo. Okay, he was dancing with two girls. Okay, eh... Jose and then go with Elias. Um, I was waiting in front of the shop. Perfect. Okay. Go now with Elias and then Gustavo. Elias, are you okay? Okay. The cat uh, was sleeping in the basket. Yes. Yeah, you know, kind of easy. Okay, Gustavo, could you help me with number uh, 10? He? He, he was carry, uh, rep repairing carry bike. Carry's bike, yeah, that's it. Repair, it's a synonym similar to fix. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you, my friends. As you can see, it's very easy. It's bastante fácil. Even it is easier than present, okay? So we continue with this. Okay. And name one or two occupations that you would never do. Okay, let's listen in this case to Jose. And then we go with David. Okay, Jose, please mention. Do you have one occupation okay. that you say, mm, no, I wouldn't do it? Okay, teacher, in my case, I will say that I will never be a cop. Okay. Or a, or a doctor, right? No, not for you. Not for me. Doctor, because a lot of responsibility on human life, you know, like dance and stuff like that. And hey, a lot of belief, you feel like things like that. Because you are able, capable to die quickly. So, that's it, that's correct. I, I, I agree about it. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Jose. I guess it's, doctor, it's a big responsibility. Yeah, imagine failure in something. And to be a cop, it is, well, I don't know, kind of complicated as well. Thank you, Jose. Not for you. Not Dr. Jose, okay? We have David, right? David. Okay, and, mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Uh, one of the occupations that I will never do is be an electrician. Electrician? Ah, no for you. No, okay. not for me. Uh, the reason is that I am afraid of being electrocuted. Yeah. I guess it is a 
fear that we all have, or mainly uh, uh, people who have not worked with that, right? It is not easy. But electricians say, no, it is not that bad. Los electricistas dicen, no, no problem. Okay, it is not complicated. But yeah, it is kind of dangerous, but necessary. Okay, thank you, uh, David. We are going to listen to some others, for example, Maritza. And then Gustavo. I could never be a nurse. Nurse, because, because of the blood, because of the patients, because of the money, or what? What do you think? Because I cannot heal wool. Ah, heal. Okay, yes. Uh, remember that they they heal, they curan, they heal wounds, heridas people, broken leg, a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. So, it, yeah. I don't not like easy. No, I know. It is complicated. I wouldn't do it. But there are some people that they don't have problem doing that. So, good, good. Because we need nurses. We need all the occupations. Uh, thank you. Gustavo and Oscar. Hi, teacher. Hi In my opinion, uh, uh, occupation that I will never do is take care of animals because I don't have como se dice paciencia teacher? Patience. Patience. Uh -huh. patience. You don't have the patience. Yeah, I know. It is it is it is not that easy. Thank you, so okay. Uh, Oscar. Uh, the occupation that I will never be is a cop because I think is very dangerous. No, yeah. Yes, the cop. Uh, a lot of people have died working as a cop, right? Yeah, because yeah. different situations yeah. that that. Oh, yes. And not that easy. So thank you, Oscar. Oh, that's true. Uh, we go with uh, Elias. Are you there? And then Daniel. Well, Elias maybe not here. Daniel, you go, my friend. I I will not like to work in a disco or a circus. It is not for me. Usually, uh, in a disco or in a bar, there are always problems. Mm -hmm. There are always problematic people. Even there are some nights that it is like relaxing, but always there are some people that they are like violent or crazy or they drink a lot of alcohol and they get crazy. Yeah. yeah. So you can notice them. Yeah. Uh, nurses are beautiful. They take care of us in our hearts. Yes, no, I know. Yes, nurses are so amazing and beautiful. But there are some mothers that they're kind of angry, hay unas enojaditas. And there are some mothers that they're very smiley. Unas que son bien sonrientes. Okay, we have all kinds. Yeah, we continue with this. Look at this. From the manual, countable versus uncountable nouns, okay? Remember that we were uh, working with how much and how many, right? So, uh, you remember that how much it is for uncountable, how many for countable. Okay, so let's uh, try to complete this with how much. How much, uh, remember, take a look to the verb. Vamos a fijarnos en el verbo. Have, need, want. Okay. We have three verbs. Have, need, mm -hmm. want. Yeah. Okay. Check a look at this. Vamos a ver cómo hacemos estas preguntas. Les doy un par de segundos para que las vean. Vean las respuestas y completamos las preguntas.
Okay, let's check. Any volunteers? If not, I'm going to help you. Uh, Guillermo en Noé. Okay, Guillermo. Uh, how many boxes of treat uh -huh. do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, and I have a question. What is the meaning of treat? Just wait a little bit. Permítame, se me trabó esto. Hilo. It is hilo. Yeah, yeah, hilo. You can say string. También se puede ser string, aunque string es cuerda. But it, it is uh, a synonym, yeah, thread, hilo. Thank you, John. Thank you. Anytime. Noé, which one do you uh, do you want? Okay, the number three. Yeah. Um, how much column he needs? Okay. Ok, good. En este caso creo que sería many, porque son galones, one gallon, two gallon. Pero si dijera, por ejemplo, a lot, que significa mucho, sería how much, cuánto, cuánta gas necesita. Pero en este caso, yeah. Thank you, my friend. Uh, gallons, yeah, of gas. Thank you. Maybe we can have uh, John and Maritza. John, do you have any idea how to complete one of this? If not, let's try. No, vamos a intentar. Okay. Um, how many floor cleaners do they have? Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, okay, Maritza, what about you? Quarter five. Uh, five. Okay, five. How much? Uh, water. Water. Do you need? Uh, do a. Uh, do I need? Hacer... Podría ser, ajá, do Ana y Hugo need or do they need? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And we're going to finish with this. Maybe we can have Oscar. Any idea about number four? Let's try to complete. Vamos a intentar completar. Okay. Sería eh, how many mm -hmm. packs Six packs of butter, once to once. Uh huh. Do you want? Do you want? Yeah. No. Sí, yes. Sí, porque cuánto quieren ustedes? Ah, nosotros queremos. Yeah. How many packs of butter? Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's it. So remember how much and how many. And we are the asking questions. Siempre va el, el signo al final. Es importante el do all does y el verbo. Okay? Easy, easy. You did it really good. Okay, we continue. 30 minutes and we finish. 30 minutos y terminamos. Okay? What do we have here? Uh, ask different partners about the activities that they have to do and don't have to do easy example um qué es lo que tienen que hacer y lo que no tienen que hacer ejemplo i have to check the mail okay tengo que revisar el correo i have to check the mail qué es lo que no tengo que hacer Okay. I don't have to 
water the plants. Ok. No tengo que regar las plantas. Ok. So that's it. Think about one sentence, uh, one activity you have to do and one that you don't have to do. We're going to work in groups of three. Ok. In trios. So it means that you're going to write the information of your classmate. Van a escribir la información de su compañero. Ok. So when we come back, we're going to share that. Y aquí sí vamos a utilizar el has. Ok. So think about, piensen una cosa, think about one thing that you have to do and one thing you don't have to do and share with your partners and take notes. Tomen nota de eso. Ok. So if you want, you can have screenshots of this. So, no problem. Okay. So, let's see. See you in a couple of minutes. Let's take a look. Serían eh, de cualquier actividad, teacher. O... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It related to your work or to daily activities. Okay. Pueden ser de su trabajo. El, en la de have. Yo sugiero que sea uno de su trabajo. Talking about your job. And something that you don't have to do, y algo que no tienen que hacer, some, a free activity, okay? So, easier, un poquito más fácil para ustedes. Okay, my friends, so... See you later. We're going to work in groups of three.
Okay, my friends, we're going to present uh, the information that we have. For uh, for example, um, I write Adi. Adi has to prepare but she to clean Okay. This is my example. Este es mi ejemplo. Uh, I write have in the first sentence. I write but and then I write the negative sentence using uh, have. Adi has to prepare classes, but she doesn't have to clean the house. Esto diciendo que Adi tiene que preparar clases, pero ella no tiene que limpiar la casa. I need you to write that uh, your the information that you have in this way, de esta manera. Okay. For example, uh, Maritza has to send the mails, but she doesn't have to work on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sería otro ejemplo. Okay. Text and the, the two sentences, and we have two more activities, and we finish the class. Solo dos actividades más y terminamos la clase. But I need you to write the sentences you have. Okay, let's listen, uh, Noé, please. And then we have Guillermo. Uh, could you read your sentence, please, Noé? And then we go with Guillermo. Uh, we can hear you. Okay. Jose yeah. has to offer internet service, but he doesn't have to check email. Thank you, Guillermo and Maritza. Noé has to read the letters, but he doesn't have to drink soda. Yeah, Maritza and Adi. Riva has to a meeting in the morning, but he doesn't have to homework to the... Okay, so lo que ahí sería, Rivas has to go, uh -huh. has to go to a meeting, but thank you. Yes, oh, 
Rivas has a meeting. Yeah. But good, good. Thank you, Maritza. Very nice. Adi, and then we go with Oscar. Okay. Tengo la misma que Maritza porque vamos en el mismo equipo. No problem. Um, go ahead. Carlos has a meeting in the morning, but he doesn't has homework today. Okay. Thank you. Uh, very nice. Oscar and Jose. Okay, Gustavo has to study English, but he doesn't have to drink soda. Okay, que saludables. You are very healthy. Uh, Jose, please. Okay, uh, Noé has to fix cars, but he doesn't have to clean the warehouse. Good one. Uh, Daniel, what about you? Are you ready with your sentences? And David has to report early, and he doesn't. Uh, get late jobs. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what about Oscar? I know Oscar ya pasó. Uh, Gustavo. Gustavo or Teresa? Hola. La misma que José tienes. Ok, adelante. Léela, no problem. Luego vamos con Rivas. No, he has to fix cars, but he doesn't have to clean the warehouse. Thank you. Ok, Rivas, are you there? Marisa has to check invoice. Marisa doesn't have to visit clients. Thank you. What about David and John? We don't have David and John? Okay. No problem. We're going to continue. And let's see here. Let's see. Vamos a ver quién se me ha quedado con esto. Uh, ten minutes and we finish. Ten minutos y terminamos, okay? So. Um, Doris, are you there? ¿Estás por ahí, Doris? If not, yeah, because the others. Teresa, what about you, Teresa? You have one occupation that you wouldn't do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will never be a doctor or I will never be a counter. No, really, accountant, contador, mm -hmm. accountant. Mm -hmm. Okay, not content and not a doctor. Okay. Yeah, that's that's all. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, it depends of our likes, our interests. Okay. Um, we're going to have a listening, pero es un poquito extenso, así que solo lo vamos a escuchar una vez. Okay. So we're going to listen one time. So try uh, to take notes, main ideas. Okay. Please, my friends, and here we have it. Let's listen. It's incredible, but the little girl at the front of this photo is my grandmother. Look at her. She was only five years old in this picture, and she still remembers the day it was taken. It was September 1914, and her two uncles, Peter and Lionel, were going to France the war. They wanted to take a picture. The two women in the middle were Peter's wife and Lionel's girlfriend. They looked very sad. You can understand why. The woman at the back worked in my mother's house and the man wearing the dark clothes with a cap was a driver or something like that. My mother knows the full story. If you look very closely, you can see that my grandmother has a tiny handbag in her hand. She was like that. She was a little woman even when she was five years old. She loved her uncles very much and even now. She says things like, my uncle Peter loved cheese. Peter died in the war sadly, but Lionel came back and became an actor in the theater. My grandmother got married when she was 17 and had seven children. Okay, what do you think about this? Uh, volunteers, I know that 
even the audio was kind of fast. It is. It was clear uh, a lot of words, a lot of phrases. Okay, maybe we can start with Oscar and then Daniel. Any phrase, word, or idea that you listen? Oscar. Family. Ah, uh, yeah. Listen. Daniel says a yeah, big family. And Oscar, I'm sorry, Oscar, you go. I, I listen. She was only five years old. Yeah. She was only Make five sure. years old. Yeah, thank you. And Teresa? I think that he is describing the uh, uh, a photo. A photograph, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the description of a photograph? Thank you. Uh, Noe, please. And then John. Okay. I'm listening just one thing. It's incredible, but the little girl in this photo is my grandmother. My grandmother is really closely. She loves her uncle. My grandmother got married when she was 17 and she had seven kids. Your good example, imagine grandma, seven years old and she got, and she got married. And then she had seven kids. Thank you, Noe, very good. And we can have some other participation. Maybe we can have David or Rivas. Okay, that is not available, Rivas. What about Adi? And Gustavo or Adi? Maybe you have some words. If not, maybe we can listen a little bit, Guillermo. And you tell us, Guillermo, one phrase or idea that mm. maybe took your attention. Peter died in the war. Mm. Unfortunately, it is. Thank you. Very good uh, data. Uh, what about Jose? Any idea that you remember? Yes, Jose? Uh, it's my teacher. Okay. Creo que tenemos problemas con tu audio. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list to finish uh, this class. Um, I don't know if David is there. David, no sé si estás por allí. Eh, debo de consultar si puedes sí, estar. Sí, sí. Okay, ¿verdad que contigo no me queda con la sesión uno a uno, verdad? No, uno, teacher. No. Okay, entonces ahora te quedas, please. Yes. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. Say hi, hello, good evening or goodbye, and we finish the class, okay? Solo recordarles que no se desconecten hasta que hayan pasado toda la lista, eso es uno, y pues felicitar este que uh, tienen una buena nota, son un pocas personas que van mal, y espero que eso no les afecte al final, porque no han terminado por completo, ¿verdad? Algunas eh, tareas, ¿verdad? Recuerden que eso pesa al final, porque igual, ya que vuelvo a pasar notas hasta después, Y están monitoreando el personal de inglés corporativo. Es posible que les llamen y les consulten y les van a estar pues monitoreando porque no han avanzado como se debía. Okay, my friends. Eh, Adi, it's time to go. Thank you. Me hizo present por el chat. Ana Cristina no está. Elías, I don't know. He was available. Eh, Rivas, hello. Hello, teacher present. Thank you. Eh, Daniel. Hi, present. Perfect. David? Pre present teacher. Perfect. Doris, no sé si está por acá. And Evelyn, no. Graciela, no. Guillermo, hello, my friend. Present teacher. Thank you very much. What about Jose? Hi. John? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Thank Present. you. I, I, I am here. Uh, good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Perfect. Uh, Katia not here. Maritza? Present. Very nice. Noe? Present, teacher. Have a good night. Perfect, my friend. Thank you. Gustavo? 
present Oscar. teacher good night thank you oscar okay here we have also and uh, rosali susi teresa present teacher thank you my friends see you tomorrow descanse have a good night pasa feliz noche bye bye my friends thank good you. night bye bye you. bye 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 pero no me mencionó este no listo hola Oscar si te noté no te preocupes ah perdón a escribirle no llega ahorita <risa> gracias no problem. no problem Oscar <risa> good night ok see you see you see you tomorrow Ok, David, ¿me escuchas? Yo estoy chévere, aquí estoy. Ok, my friend. Uh, you tell me, um, do you have some doubts about any topic that we have studied, maybe, or conversations, vocabulary, si requieres, si necesitas algún refuerzo con alguno de los eh, temas que hemos visto, maybe? Or, sí, de hecho, sí. Dime. De hecho, sí, teacher, con el tema que vimos hoy, eh, Leo y... y he escuchado muy, muy, pero muy cortado, más que todo me perdí con la parte del, del, del ING que le estaba poniendo a los no. verbos. No problem. Ok. Um, vimos algunas estructuras gramaticales, ok, vimos esto, no problem with this, ¿verdad? No hay problema con eso, ¿verdad? ¿Qué era la, no, la no, dato? No problem. No problem with this. Um, Ok. Present continuous. Esto tiene que ver con las cosas que tú dices que estás haciendo en este momento. Por ejemplo, I am drinking coffee. Estoy tomando café. Um, I am writing. Estoy escribiendo. ¿Sí? Son cosas, son cosas que haces en el preciso momento. Entonces, eh, se parece casi al español. ¿ve? I am playing. Yo estoy jugando. Entonces, todos los verbos terminan con ing. Ahora, affirmative, vamos a utilizar el am, también el is y el are, ¿ok? Así como nosotros ya los de, eh, estamos acostumbrados, I am, you are, he is, para el negativo, solo le vamos a agregar la palabra not. Uh -huh. La palabra not y ya es negativo. Uh -huh. okay. I am not, eh, you are not, eh, he is not. Pero para el interrogativo, interrogative es similar al verbo to be en general, porque solo pasamos al inicio. Mira, este I am uh -huh. playing, solo este am pasa aquí al inicio. ¿Ya viste? Am sí. I playing? You are playing es la afirmativa. La pregunta sería, are you playing? Entonces, este are pasa al inicio. ¿Cómo vamos ahí? ¿Todo bien? Ya sí, yo he comprendido. Ok. En lugar de playing, we can use different words, like verbs. Working, eh, dance, que es bailar, dancing, ok. Eh, study, studying, ok. You can use different verbs. Puedes usar todos los verbos que tú quieras. Uh -huh. En el caso de dance, le yeah. sustituyó la E por I. That's correct. For dancing, example, dancing. Uh -huh. uh, create es crear. We omit letter E and we add ING. Esa es una regla general. ¿Ok? okay. Cuando lo vamos yes, a yes. poner ING y, y el verbo termina en E, este se le agrega ING quitando la E. Uh -huh. Ok, sí, 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 bueno, Teresa. Ok, sí, sí, eh, te voy a poner otro ejemplo. Sí, podría ser dance, create. Mm, déjame ver si otro lo termino con E. Complete. 
Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, dance, create, complete, esos, ¿verdad? Se quitan la E y agrega ING. Sería dancing, creating, completing. Completing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La gente dice completing. Ah, puede ser completing. Porque okay. la T, si está en, entre dos vocales, suena como R, ¿verdad? Completing. Ah, completing is okay. Bueno, okay. questions about this? ¿Preguntas con respecto a esto? Eh, no, teacher. En el, solo ahí en el caso del study, ahí sí se mantienen las dos. Y... No, no problem. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. No hay problema, ¿verdad? Perfecto, ah, teacher. Yes. Ok. Ok, seguimos entonces. Esto es el presente continuo. I am drinking coffee. Estoy tomando café. Ahora, con el tema del pasado continuo, tenemos este. Para el pasado, solo vamos en lugar de utilizar am, is, are, Solo vamos a utilizar was, where. ¿De qué manera? Ya te lo explico. Eso es lo que utilizamos este, en presente. Am, is, are. Pero en pasado, was va a ser para singular. Where va a ser para plural. Entonces, en presente teníamos am, is, are. En pasado, solo tenemos dos. Más fácil, was y where. Entonces, was eh, reemplaza la palabra am y la palabra is. ¿Ok? Y where reemplaza are. Por ejemplo, aquí en presente sería I am playing. ¿Verdad? Eso es lo que vimos, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero como el was reemplaza al am, porque el was es el pasado de am, entonces fácilmente. Was play. Sencillo. Yes. It's correct, yeah. for, for example, uh, I was printing. Printing? Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Ok. No problem. Yo estuve yeah. imprimiendo así. I was printing, yes. I was photocopying. I was texting. I was calling. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, sí, sí. Aquí, en, en presente, eh, you take care of his art. Está pendiente de eso. In the past, you just take a look at was and where. Solo te preocupas por el was y el where. Was es para singular. O sea, I, yo es singular. He, she, it, singular. Pero plural es, ya sea, you, They, we. Ok, entonces esa es la clave. Y cuando decimos you were playing, tú estuviste jugando. Eh, we were playing, nosotros estábamos jugando. Uh -huh. okay. O sea, es el verbo to be, pero en pasado. En pasado. ¿Hm? Y, y, y teacher, si, si no llevara el ing, el verbo, ¿qué sería entonces? ¿Qué ah, entonces, sería? Solo... entonces, sí, sí, te pongo un ejemplo. Um, yo estaba jugando. El ING hace que todos los verbos terminen ando, endo. Ejemplo, working, dancing. Aquí decimos trabajando, dancing, mm -hmm. bailando, eh, eating, comiendo. Entonces, el yeah. ING hace que los verbos terminen ando, endo. Si no le escribís el ING, es, puede decir, yo estaba a jugar. <ríe> Así sonaría. Ah, okay. <ríe> Ajá, entonces suena como Tarzán, ¿verdad? Como yo estaba a jugar. No tiene, te pueden entender. Y no te van a hacer burla. O sea, un estadounidense, un americano, cualquier europeo. Ah, ah, ok. O te va a decir, ah, you were playing. Si dices, I was played, ¿verdad? Entonces, te va a entender. Pero no estás dando a entender directamente con, o, sea, o completamente <risa> la idea. Okay, uh -huh. Hoy sí, más o menos. Sí, okay. sí. 
Te avisa que no está tan complicado, ¿verdad? No, 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 para nada. Solo es cuestión de lógica y, y pues acostumbrarse un poquito a la estructura. Tomorrow we're going to complete negative and interrogative, ¿ok? Because to, today you was just checking um, affirmative. Ok, Perfect, David. Okay. Yes. Congratulations, you have very good pronunciation. Tienes una pronunciación muy buena, David. Veo que tienes oh. buena retentiva. Good. Ok, thank you, thank you. Tenemos que ir mejorando poco a poco. Todavía nos faltan pocas clases, ¿ok? Yes, teacher. Ok, my friend, eso sería todo. Entonces se nos acabó el tiempo. Nice to see you. Con gusto verte, ¿ok, my friend? Ok, okay teacher, see you tomorrow. Excelente. See you tomorrow, my friend. Bye-bye.